Well, good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Monday morning. It is now the 19th day of August 2024, and this is the morning briefing. And what a nice morning we have underway. Nice, cool temperatures, bright sunshine. It's going to be a good-looking day. Really nice week. There are going to be some interesting things happening this week, especially toward the end of the week that I'll talk more about. And uh, might be more of a discussion as we get into the week, because we're talking about much cooler weather, perhaps, by the weekend. And some parts of the state might even see some rain. More on that here in just a second. That's kind of a tease, if you will. Let's start with what's happening on this Monday morning. Just terrific. Clear skies throughout the area. Perfect air quality. We do have little fires burning here and there, but we don't have the big fires. We don't have the park fire burning. And so, yeah, we're just in really, really good shape. And with temperatures staying in a pretty nice range, humidity not all that bad, generally southwesterly flow here, we are seeing really good conditions in terms of fire danger for this time of year um, anyway. So, yeah, very, very comfortable. Not much in the way of marine layer this morning. As you can see from San Francisco down to the south, there are spots here and there where there isn't anything in the way of fog. We'll likely see a bit of marine layer from time to time over the next couple of days, but we're going to see a bit of a warming trend over what we had over the weekend. And what I want to show you here is how this month has gone so far. So this is the climate summary for downtown Sacramento for the month of August. And of course, six of the first seven days are at or above 100 degrees. But now we've gone 11 and soon to make it 12 consecutive days with temperatures under 100 degrees. We will likely not hit 100 degrees this week, but we may be back above 100 degrees again next week. Again, more on that here in just a second. But this is a nice stretch that we have seen, really helping to modify the hot weather we had throughout all of July and through these first through the first week of August. But ever since then, we've done quite well, and we are going to see temperatures stay very comfortable this week. So if you work outdoors, if you just like to play outdoors, if you just don't like the heat, I think you're going to like what we have in store for the rest of this week. And like I said, this week is going to be pretty interesting. Here's the overall pattern this morning. I'm showing you the 6Z GFS. So this is the run from late last night, the morning run. The one that comes in from 12Z isn't quite in as I record this around 8.30 in the morning. But what we have here is the big high that brings the heat is centered generally over Texas. And so you have the ridge axis here. And instead, dominating the western states, you have the trough, which is, which is nice, keeps temperatures in a really comfortable range. The trough weakens somewhat between today and tomorrow. Temperatures over the weekend in Sacramento stayed in the upper 80s. The next few days, we will make the low 90s. No big deal, but just, you know, the 92, 93-ish range the next couple of days. Another little trough comes by. Let's see what day are we up to now. Is this Wednesday? Yeah, this is Wednesday. Another little trough comes up by so that so Monday, Tuesday, we go to that 92 range. Wednesday, Thursday, we see the temperatures come back down. And then it's this feature here that'll make things even more interesting as we head toward the weekend. Temperatures will stay cooler, but then as this trough drops our way, this is this is pretty nice. Now, if this were November. We'd be talking about oh, some rain, some cool temperatures, maybe some mountain snow. And some of the model runs have brought rain to Northern California from this pattern during the day on Saturday. Maybe Friday, depending on the timing of this whole thing. This is up to uh, Friday morning. And that trough will, either, even if it doesn't bring us any rain, this will likely on Friday and Saturday keep our temperatures in the, oh, let's say 77 to 80 range. So quite a bit cooler. If you have outdoor plans Friday, Saturday, yeah, it's going to be quite a bit cooler. But then the one thing I will caution you is that, oh, let me, let me talk a little bit about this. What we see at, um, well, we can see it just about any time of year. But what we often see is that if you have a deep trough, let's say, that comes by. I, I guess I was trying to think this usually happens in spring and fall, but we're not quite there yet, obviously. Um, but if you have a, a deep trough that comes by, it's amazing how quickly that can be replaced by a big ridge. So in other words, the higher the amplitude of the waves, if you will, if you have a deep trough that can often be followed by a big ridge, which can send you, well, send temperatures jumping 20 degrees or more within the course of a couple of days. And we may be seeing that this time. So I talked about the amplitude of the wave. So this is a deep wave here. So you can see 
big ridge here, big ridge here, big trough in between. So that's what we call a high amplitude wave. But as that wave goes by, as we head into the day on Sunday, then the ridge comes back. So here's that trough going out, and now we get ridging building behind it, so that by Sunday, and especially Monday, we could see temperatures go back up to 100 degrees or so. All right, let's talk about the chance of getting any rain with this. So with that, we'll go over to uh, the, uh, the GFS on the, on the COD, weather.cod.edu, College of DuPage. So here is, uh, I'm up to Thursday, and we're just looking at precip, and this is again off the 6Z run. And here's our, our deep little low. This is getting into very early uh, Friday morning. This is uh, that deep low, and as you can see, there is some rain circulating around it. Very uh, cool temperatures. Rain up along the, the, uh, the state line, and then it moves out. And after that, everything returns to a, a summer pattern. All right, so that's the way the most recent run has shown it. Let me show you the way yesterday's run looked. Yesterday morning, this will be the 12Z run yesterday morning. And that looks a little different, doesn't it? This is Saturday morning. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's rain up and down the Sierra. That's rain in the valley. So that's 12Z on Saturday. Let me go to 12Z on Saturday on this run. And as you can see, so this is... Uh, these runs are less than 24 hours apart. That's 12Z Saturday. That's 12Z Saturday. So, yeah, what I will tell you is that um, getting rain from a pattern like that in Northern California in August is, um, is, is, is tricky. There's not going to be a lot of moisture with this. Now, uh, a lot of you are probably saying, wait, 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 I know it's rained in August. I, I remember such and such a day it's rained in August. Yes, we do get rain in August. But when we get rain in August, it's from the monsoon. So it's the moisture coming up from the south and feeding thunderstorms and that sort of thing. It's relatively rare for us to get a deep trough in August that produces rain just because the uh, there isn't there isn't much moisture. We'll keep an eye on this over the next couple of days. It's certainly going to be interesting, and I wouldn't be surprised if we do see some rain into Oregon and maybe down toward the uh, the Shasta area, as far south as Shasta. We'll see maybe, um, but seeing something that looks like the 12Z run looked yesterday, right now that looks like it's um, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Let's just put it that way. Um, but Either way, it'll be fun to watch on the on the runs over the next couple of days to see what that does. But what we will see over the next couple of days, highs in the low 90s. The average high for this time of year is now 93. Keep in mind, a few weeks ago, the average high was 95. Now it's down to 94, now 93 as of today. So yeah, we are sliding into the cooler season slightly. Um, and we're going to stay right around average or slightly below average the next couple of days, then cooler Wednesday, Thursday, and then much cooler Friday, Saturday, with highs perhaps staying in the 70s. So a pretty comfortable week, keeping the 100s away for a while. That's everything I've got for you on this Monday morning. Make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.